Hello friends, so here we are going to discuss the Hindu newspaper of the date 10th of May 2018. So this is the front page of the Hindu newspaper, the Walmart to buy control of Flipkart. 16 billion deal that is largest ever Indian acquisition by a foreign firm. Here you need not to read these numbers. These numbers are not important for us for UPSC purpose. Only thing is important what is this merger and acquisition means and what is the difference between merger and acquisition is and which law uh, that support this mergers and acquisitions means under which law this merger and acquisition takes place that only you need to study. Another important the news article is this news article that is this euro goes to save Iran nuclear deal because you know that uh, this USA already withdrawn from this nuclear deal of with Iran. So we need to discuss everything about this issue. That is issue is very important. So this discussion is done by me. Okay. So this discussion is done by me. So this was the article that came in the Hindu newspaper. The article is this, the deal breaker. The article was this deal breaker. Correct. The US retreat from the Iran nuclear deal has undermined the rules based global order. We will discuss this later. What does it mean by rules based global order? So first we need to understand what was actually this Iran nuclear deal. Until unless we do not know about this, it will be very difficult to understand this entire article. So first we know key details of this Iran nuclear deal. So friends, in 2015, Iran agreed a long term deal on its nuclear program with P5 plus one group of world powers. This P5 members are all these members, members of United Nations Security Council. Okay, so United Nations Security Council member US, UK, France, China and Russia and this plus one member was actually Germany plus one member was Germany. So we first question is important. What is this P5 plus is? P5 plus one is P5 the members of United Nations Security Council and one extra member is Germany. So the thing is that it was came to know that Iran is developing nuclear weapon. And we know the position of Iran in world map. Suppose if it is Iran is here and here is this Gulf is there and this side you have this Saudi Arabia. This is Saudi Arabia here. This is Iran is there. And one more country here if you with Israel. So this axis, this axis, Israel, Iran and Saudi Arabia. Israel was not happy with this. Saudi Arabia was also not happy with Iran's nuclear, uh, this nuclear weapon program because the thing is that then these two countries will worry because anytime if any conflict arises, definitely Iran is going to do these all two countries. And that is the reason that these countries actually try to remove this nuclear deal, sorry, nuclear weapon from this Iran. And during that time in 2015, we know who was the president of USA. It was Obama. So in Obama administration, this nuclear deal took place. The name of that deal was Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action. The name of the official name of that deal was Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action. So what was this under this deal? Under this deal, first important was this. Under the agreement, Iran agreed to eliminate its stockpile of medium enriched uranium, cut its stockpile of low enriched uranium by 98% and reduce by about two thirds the number of number of its gas centrifuges for 13 years. The thing we need to know is this. Okay, the thing we need to know this. Okay, naturally uranium is this uranium 235 it is available. Okay, so the thing is if uranium is enriched by 3 to 4 percent then it is used in nuclear energy. Okay, then it is used in nuclear energy. And another is it is can be used in health sector also. But to actually use as a nuclear weapon, uranium 235 need to be enriched to 90%. Okay, 90%. So how this enrich takes place? This enrich takes place in one of the machines that is called as centrifuges. In centrifuges, suppose this is the centrifuges here, nuclear is put over there, it is going round and round. It is just simple version. It is not as simple here we are explaining here. It is just layman language I am telling you this. The centrifuges how they work. It is just like a suppose machine and it is the center and this is going to round, round, round. Then that most enriched uranium, most enriched uranium will going to be collected here together, together, together and all less enriched will go here and then we are going to collect, collect this. 
and uranium from this position okay and that is known as enrichment procedure so here in this deal it was said that ki iran ko need to reduce this 90% wala jo 90% highly enriched wala then need to be eliminate correct for the next 15 years iran will only enrich uranium up to 3.67% see i told you if uranium is enriched to 3 to 4% then it is used in nuclear energy and health sector so that means iran is allowed iran iran was allowed in that deal to enrich uranium up to 3.67% that means this range is also coming between 3 to 4% so why because to use a nuclear power plant and health sector iran also agreed not to build any new heavy water facilities for the same period of time heavy water facilities is this and uh, that have nuclear what nuclear uh, web uh, this uh, nuclear power plant uranium enriched activities will be limited to a single facility using first generation centrifuges for 10 years correct that means so that you, so that you iran cannot enrich its uranium okay iran cannot enrich its uranium that was the reason is uranium enrichment activities will be limited to only single facility so that if it is limited to single facility then monitoring will be easy other facilities will be converted to avoid proliferation risk other facilities will be converted so that converted in the sense they will not be used for uranium enrichment purpose to avoid the proliferation risk proliferation means ki so that aisa na ho ki from other faculty other facility pe iran is getting some help from other countries to monitor and verify iran's compliance with agreement the agency called international atomic energy agency will have regular access to all nuclear facilities so read this what is this iae where is headquarter headquarter is in vienna this agency's headquarter is vienna so this agency will going to monitor the all iranian nuclear facility to check whether whether iran is in compliance with the deal or not agreement provide that in return for very fairly abiding by its commitment means the thing is that what iran will going to get in return so iran will re receive relief from us european union and united nations security council nuclear related economic section because many of the economic section has been put by united nations security council and usa and european union these economic sanctions were actually destroying iranian economies why because iran was not able to deal or trade with any other country because of these sanctions because if any other country tries to do trade with iran then this us and european union union and this big countries western countries they will not have a relationship in economic relationship with those countries and that is the reason is this outcast policy was actually applied by these countries to pressurize iran so that economic sanction will be reduced or will be eliminated so that iran can have trade with other countries and iran's economic actually prosperity took place that was the commitment that iran has given and iran will get in return now why us cannot decide independently on the deal because we know the news is this we know the news kya hai news is this ki iran is okay news is this ki us is withdrawing from this deal so the question is why us cannot decide independently on the deal the thing is that we already the nuclear deal was reached among seven entities seven entities on one is iran and another side is p5 plus 1 that means this deal was not taken place this deal was not in bilateral deal that means this deal was not with us alone so nuclear deal was reached among seven entities including us russia germany iran china this any unilateral move to withdraw from the agreement would hurt american interest you understood this any unilateral move to withdraw from the agreement would hurt american interest as european countries are keen on expanding economic ties with iran as european countries are keen on expanding economic ties with iran by law the us administration is required to notify congress every 90 days whether iran is living up to the deal or and no decision can be made by the us administration alone abhi kya decision was taken by us administration so definitely this 
this will go to the Congress, correct? So, okay, Iran, US is not ready with that, but then European Union is ready. Suppose China is ready because China is not going to severe its relationship with Iran, then China will emerge as a global power, okay, in this region. In this region, China will emerge as a global power in this region. Now, next thing is what will be the impact on India because whenever any because this is in our syllabus of GS paper 2. In GS paper 2 case syllabus, this thing is written that impact of the policies, impact of the policies and program of other worlds, okay, on India. So we need to read this as to impact on India. So India could face the impact of US decisions on the deal as well as instituting the highest level of economic sanctions in several ways. Means how India will be affected. First important reason is oil prices because Iran is presently India's third largest supplier because reason we know India import around 80% of its oil requirement and Iran is the third largest biggest supplier after Iraq and Saudi Arabia and any increase in prices will hit both inflation levels as well as Indian rupee because if Iran pay economic sanctions has been put then India will having a problem to actually import oil from Iran then India need to import from Iraq and Saudi Arabia that means supply reduce supply reduce because supply reduce because now Iran is not one of the market but demand of India okay for this oil is always remains same so when supply reduce but demand remains same automatically it will happen the price of oil can increase why because other countries are also not going to import oil from Iran so oil will come only from Iran in Iraq and Saudi Arabia so automatically supply of oil will reduce and then oil prices will increase if oil prices increase if oil prices increase then what will happen because oil will come to the India at high prices and this oil will go to use where in transport sector and in energy sector and since transport is involved in almost most of the goods and services to transport from one place to another place and definitely when transport cost will increase the cost of goods and services will also going to increase if cost of goods and services increase automatically inflation also will increase increase inflation will also increase now Indian rupees also will going to be impacted through this oil prices because okay, whenever oil prices will increase already current account deficit will increase current account deficit why increase because to purchase this oil India need to mix the or we can call it it is import. So import uh, this import price will increase or not? Import price will increase because oil price will increase and oil is also uh, oil is one of the important item of this import basket. So automatically import price will increase, but export more or less remain same. Automatically current account deficit will increase and then Indian rupee will also going to be impacted. And another even non-oil trade trade with Iran may not be impacted as much. Non-oil trade with Iran may not be impacted as much. Because that things can be imported from other countries also. Second important impact is regarding Jahawar. India's moves over the last few years to develop births at the Sahib Bahisti port. Sahid Bahisti port in Jahawar was a key part of its plan to circumvent Pakistan's block on trade with Afghanistan. I am showing one map here. If you see this map here, okay, or see another map, this map. See this map here. See this map, correct. In this map, we can look here. Uh, this this is your Gwadar port, okay. This is your Gwadar port, this. And this is Jahawar port here. Iranian coast. And this is your Gwadar port. This Gwadar port is built by this Gwadar port is built by 
China and this Java port to India is actually India is putting infrastructure because if India need to go to Afghanistan then India can go to Afghanistan only through Pakistan only okay suppose from here India is going then India need to go through here or India go to here India need to go faster that means Pakistan to cross Pakistan was imminent for India to but Pakistan was not allowing then what will happen our trade with Afghanistan will reduce or will end so for that India has taken development of Java port because from this Java port one road will be created here and that will throw Iran it will go to Afghanistan okay and then India can have the trade so this also will going to be impacted okay so this thing we are covering in that chapter Key this the new US sanction could slow or even bring those plans to halt depending on how strictly they are implemented. Because when economic sanction will take place, then then after economic sanction, the movement of the money or capital will reduce to the Iran. If movement of capital reduced, then automatically this infrastructure project that called Jahawar also will going to be. It means it's going to become very slow. Okay, not I am not saying it will going to be finished or it will going to be stopped. No, but the pace will reduce. If pace reduce, definitely then India's interest will also affect it. Another important is this INSTC. What is this INSTC? It is International North South Transport Corridor. International North South Transport Corridor. This International North South Corridor will go here. From here, actually, it will go. See, this is Iran, correct? And here is suppose here it is Chahawar port. Here is Chahawar port. And from here it leaves one north south, it will go, go, go in such a way, it will go correct. So I am just taking another this. It will go from this position. This position it will go, and this international north south corridor will go here and it will reach to the Moscow. Okay, to central Asia and then Moscow to USA, USSR or you can call that sorry Russia it will reach there so that was the important here is ki India has been a founder of this international north south transport corridor since it was ratified in 2002 correct so now the thing is that it starts from Iran I already told you in the map it starts from Iran aims to cut right across Central Asia to Russia over a 7002 km multi-mode network plan for INSTC is paid up after the plan it was speeded up because of this joint comprehensive plan of action or just called the nuclear deal that was signed in 2015 and sanctions to Iran were lifted but when new UN sanctions will affect these plans immediately and then India's uh, it will going to impact the development plan of this INSD also in the same way it impacted the Java pool that means the development plan the speed will reduce another important fourth actually Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Okay, so India joined this Shanghai Cooperation along with Pakistan last year, and both will be formally admitted in June 2000. Okay, this 16. Okay, and then is this year Chinese officials say that they will consider inducting because already Chinese officials say that they will consider inducting Iran into this eight member Eurasian Security Organization. Correct. If the proposal is accepted by SCO, this. If Shanghai Cooperation Organization, then what will happen? It will be led by China and Russia, and India will become a member of the bloc that will seen in anti-American because now in Shanghai Cooperation Organization, the member will be China, okay? Member will be Russia, and member will be Iran. So Iran also not good relations with USA. Russia is also not having good relation with USA. China is also not having good relation with USA. Because if Iran is added here, then and India is already one of the member here is. India was not a founder member of SCO. India just means last year only India had joined with Pakistan. Correct. So India will be considered as the member of that bloc which will be considered USA by anti-American. It will also run counter to some of the government's other initiatives. For example, Indo-Pacific quadrilateral with US. Australia and Japan because already they are considering for Indo-Pacific quadrilateral which having countries like India, USA, correct, and your Japan 
एंड योर ऑस्ट्रेलिया उसको ओके इन डायमंड So the move, so the thing is, it will going to counter this actually initiative because when you are the parts of this anti-American block also the part one to here also that is the reason the move may also rise over other adversaries of Iran like Saudi Arabia in UAE and Israel. Correct or not? Because India is is the actually only country that is having good relation with Iran and Saudi Arabia. Good at the same time with Saudi Arabia and Israel and Israel and Palestine at the same time. So definitely because this Iran will see, see this this thing we need to know. Iran say which countries are not happy. Iran say of course Saudi Arabia is not happy and Israel is not happy. Why U.S. is doing this? Because U.S. is very close ally of the Israel and Israel is saying to the U.S.A. Uh, that rightly with this nuclear deal they do not want because if this nuclear deal that continue then what will happen this Iran's economic prosperity will come and Iran can become a economic powerhouse in the region and then Iran will dominate over the South Saudi Arabia and Israel and after becoming economic power these two countries cannot sustain against this Iran and that is the reason is the useful thing thinking of Saudi Arabia and Israel was that he somehow this deal must be broken, this deal must be destroyed so that new economic sanctions must be put over Iran even on the basis of false propaganda so that Iran could not become an economic power. That was the reason. Next is rules based order. What was the rules based order is this? India has long been a proponent of rules based order. Rules based order means that depends on multilateral consensus, not on bilateral but multilateral consensus and an adherence to the commitment made by countries on the international stage. Ki, like for example G20 is there, it is a multilateral, correct or not? Here all countries come in together and they are passing one, one actually dialogue and then one agreement took place. So that means it is a rules based. Other countries are actually having trust over each other countries and that is why they are following these agreements. But while walking out of this joint comprehensive plan of action that was signed by Obama administration, US government has overturned the precept that such international agreements are made by states not just with prevailing governance of regimes. That means ki, this working out of this USA is giving signal that ki, if administration change then deal also can be changed. Then how the hell the, the, the other states they are going to believe over USA because tomorrow it could be possible tomorrow it could be possible ki, if India is doing any deal with USA and if administration change take place then USA is not going to honoring that deal correct another important is this this could also impact all agreement India is negotiating both bilaterally and multilaterally with USA and government will have to choose its future course factoring in the new US behavior Correct. So that was the importance of this rules based order. And then China can become the global power because then other countries start believing over this China. This was the case. Now we are moving to another important article that came to the news today. Drowning in dust. Drowning in dust because we have seen in the news a one dust storm came in the north India because of the lot of casualties happened and the just dust is because of local winds and in this north India that local wind is known as loo. Use this is in your geography. In this is in geography paper this local wind is there. So you need to know few things of the local winds. Okay. First, you need to know whether local winds are cool or warm. That things you need to know. Another thing you need to know whether they are beneficiary or they are harmful. So take example, Lu. So Lu is a cool uh, local wind or warm? Definitely it is a warm local wind. It is a beneficiary or harmful? Definitely it is a harmful. That is why a lot of casualties took place. Correct. Same example, another important uh, local winds we are quoting Mistral. Okay, check out where this Mistral is. Okay, local wind. 
okay so this is another local wind is har mattan please check out where it is har mattan is another local wind is sirupu okay sirupu please check out where is it correct uh, another important local wind is uh, this uh, blizzard please check out where this blizzard is there so these are the some of the local winds you can see or, or you can check on this your atlas so we are going to discuss what is the issue is so what is the issue is issue is this dust storm or thunder storms and lightning at many places in northern central and eastern india killed as many as 100 people in one day while the weather events are common around this time of the year the number of casualties was unusually high in the current storm so the thing is that already i told this local wind blew used to visit in this northern part or central part every year this is not a new phenomena but first time this much of casualties occur that is why it became a important for news so what had happened rain storm and dust storm arise from similar meteorological conditions please rain storm and dust storm they arrive from the similar meteorological conditions they are almost always okay caused by a spell of intense heat because whenever intense heating will suppose this is the surface if any intense heating takes place then air will expand and air will go up when air will go up here low pressure will be created and here very high pressure will be created and when this will happen the difference between this difference between lower atmospheric pressure and, and upper atmospheric and upper atmospheric pressure will become so high that the circulation of the wind will take place and a storm will come correct so they are caused by a spell of intense heat. The affected areas indeed had heat wave like conditions lately. Thunder storms or hail occur when the atmosphere has moisture. Thunder storm kaunga? Thunder storm will take place when atmosphere has moisture. And dust storm when atmosphere may moisture is absent. Indian Meteorological Department routinely issue alerts and the current weather events too had been predicted and warning were issued. The factors, Kathy, what were the factors involved in this dust storm? The factor was this, such storms occur due to deviation from the normal temperature difference locally between upper and lower atmosphere. That means this is lower atmosphere, this is upper atmosphere. The temperature difference between here and here, if it is too, temperature difference is too much, then definitely this type of things will happen. One thing also we know, we know that ki as you go altitude increase, Altitude increase and temperature increase or decrease, then temperature actually decrease as we go up. Okay, so that means whenever this low, low atmosphere phase becomes too heated and this is not as heated as possible, then the difference between the temperature this T1 and T2 will be high and then these conditions will come. So it happens such storms occur due to deviation from the normal temperature distance between the upper and lower atmosphere. Most easterly winds from the Bay of Bengal, not most, but moist. What again? This moist easterly winds from Bay of Bengal reached up to Himachal Pradesh, which was also receiving dry winds from the same northwesterly direction. These two systems de the equilibrium between the upper and lower layers of atmosphere, making it conducive for the thermal this storm. The thing is, it looks like this. For example, this suppose India is looks like correct. Okay. This one actually wind is coming from this direction, it reaching the from Bay of Bengal region. Another wind is coming from this direction because reason is in Pakistan lot of heating takes place. In Pakistan region, lot of heating takes place, so low pressure created. But in western side, always there is high pressure is there, especially in Mediterranean region. So wind start going from high to low will start from high to low so this will come here enter here and this is going to mix with this so this will be your this side this will be your moist wind and this will be your dry wind when they actually uh, this simultaneously come and they join then they are going to disturb equilibrium equilibrium wind equilibrium between upper this lower atmosphere and upper atmosphere and because of this uh, equilibrium lost this type of storm comes correct so these two systems establish the equilibrium, de-establish the equilibrium between upper and lower layers of atmosphere, making it conducive of the thunderstorm. Final trigger is the development of a large scale air circulation system that developed over Rajasthan a couple of days earlier. Air circulation, because in Rajasthan region we know, in Rajasthan region this will be a low pressure system, correct? Low pressure system developed because region is 
because of high heating and then low pressure system of course already pata hai ki then air will going to move in which direction in this direction they will move correct in this direction they will move correct continuously okay one more thing here we are going to discuss first actually not this like this it will happen some other way just we are going to discuss so in this in rajasthan region it happens actually the trigger actually happened because large scale air circulation take place in rajasthan region because this is the rajasthan here region is so because air circulation take place because they come here only na this region in rajasthan circulation kaise take place this way this way circulation take place in such a way in this way and this circulation just like a column it starts moving from one position to another position because this low air air low lower atmosphere this is upper atmosphere temperature difference is too much so why so many death death is not happened because of this uh, uh, dust storm that happens because of disaster so the thing is why disaster because of lightning lot of this lightning will take place that is bigger killer or electric wires are there in this electric wires because of the dust storm will come our electric poles are there they are not able to sustain they are not enough strong to sustain such type of storm and then they fail and because of that the killing happens or suppose any infrastructure homes are there these houses they actually collapse the walls or homes collapse and people are in electrocuted after power line snap or after they are caught in the fields filled with water and then death will happen so the thing is that what we need to do so first is this we need to improve our infrastructure because we know such phenomena occurs annually so we know improve our disaster management for that we need to improve our infrastructure that can sustain such type of dust storm or hail storm how useful are the predictions people in the poorest and most densely populated areas are the most vulnerable also while meteorological predictions are for broad geographical areas and time frames events are however localized both in time and space because for example the imd in the indian meteorological department they will give such that they will give uh, this way ki this dust storm will come in north india because north india is very big region but this going to impact more in localized only area so the prediction should be very localized way ki in which particular area this will happen then only people will going to listen them carefully and going to honor the word and it is not yet possible to predict a thunder storm or lightning at a precise location say a village or part of the city it is not in easy because Because we are not having real data, real time data collection centers, each and every local place. At the exact times these events will hit cannot be predicted, and alerts and warnings usually merely telling people to expect these events and to take precautions. Correct. Now we are moving to another important article that is between elephant and dragon. Why it makes sense? Okay, so this article we are important article. Eh? This we are going to discuss because he is in, in Chahawar port, especially in Chahawar port. Okay, Iran is looking to to uh, to actually invite in. Sorry, Iran is looking to invite this China also in this uh, reason. Okay, India is already uh, making lot of infrastructural project here in Chawar. If China will also come, definitely you can understand. Elephant is represented by India and dragon is represented by China. Both will be in the same box. How they will going to make come in, make harmony? So here we are going to discuss. So first thing is this post sanctions. Development of Jawahar Port reflects Iranian quest for multilateralism, and China, by default, is an important player in the Iranian scheme of things. Because USA already doesn't like Iran, then then Iran will think at least take the help of China because China is one of the member of this. United Nations Security Council so if any resolutions were passed against against Iran then at least China can save by applying veto correct and China is one of the few countries with 
never severed its ties with Iran. Even when lot of United Nations lead sanctions, European Union lead sanctions and U.S. lead sanctions were put over China, but still China has never severed its ties with Iran. In fact, it had played a crucial role in bringing Iran to diplomatic table to negotiate, negotiate this P5 plus 1 nuclear deal. And then we recent World Bank report estimates substantial acceleration in Iran's GDP growth of 6.4% in the year 2006 due to lifting of sanctions. And that is the thing as I told you, Israel okay, and Saudi Arabia do not like this thing because if economic growth of Iran is increasing that much pace then one day Iran will become economic superpower and then definitely these countries will going to suffer because they will not out may be able to out compete Iran and this rebound is poised if all goes well after US actions to get further impetus from Iran's participation in China's connectivity project one more thing we need to know is China was also one of the countries, this fifth point, China was also one of the countries that maintained the steady trade relations with Iran. Even during sanction era, in fact, uh, if we see the figure, then we come to know in 2003, the, in, the trade between India and sorry, Iran and China was $4 billion, but trade in 2013, it increased to 53 billion dollar. One more thing I am telling you, by 2025, they are planning their trade should raise to 600 billion dollar between Iran and China. Correct. So that is the importance key. Their trade becomes so high, so big that China cannot ignore the economic implications okay over this trade if some sanctions has been imposed over Iran and that same way Iran also cannot duck China just to just to appease India because India is not having that much of trade with Iran as compared with China so a large chunk of China Iran trade is petroleum based products and China is the largest importer of Iranian oil another important thing is Iran with its massive infrastructural needs sees China as its most valued partner and Beijing has been investing in Iran in crucial sectors like railway. I told you China is playing the check book diplomacy. China is playing with check book diplomacy. What is check book diplomacy? China is flourishing lot of money into these type of countries and then they will be trapped in the debt and then they cannot come out of the circle of China and then it's nothing but it's a new form of neo-imperialism and Chinese investment in Iran are part and parcel of its ambitious 1 trillion Belt and Road Initiative. Correct. Apart from their economic baseline, these investments are also means to generate political confidence and acceptability for a China-centric world order. Because then, if suppose this much of China is going to induce money into these countries, then world will become China-centric world order instead of US-centric world order. And since US is not honoring its word, for example, they come out with Paris Agreement already. Correct. They do not. They do. They have not ratified even Kyoto Protocol, even though they are the one largest emitter of these greenhouse gases. And now they have this. USA is going to with, already going to withdraw from this. Iran nuclear deal, then how they will become the world leader when no one is going to believe on them. Iran perceives this uh, Belt and Road Initiative as project that would make it an indispensable transit hub for countries like China, India and Russia in effect to empty to US sanctions. Correct. And Iran's premium geographical location is based between Persian Gulf and Central Asia along with relatively stable political architecture make it a central player in China's this series. 
this is Iran. So its position, if we see this position, it is just in between. Okay, India, if you want to go through this Central Asia, India will go through this Iran only. This the project that already I told you, INSTC project is there. So it is a bridge between. Uh, if suppose the, here is here is China. China is building its Belt and Road Initiative. This will go through here. Okay, just wait. Okay, it will go from here. It will go from here this way and this will go 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 and it will come this way correct and then it will reach to the Mediterranean Ocean area the Mediterranean Ocean area it will reach and that is the reason is it is the bridge between ch this China's region and this Central Asian and this European region that was the importance of this now moving next is after 1979 revolution Tehran had been dependent on Beijing for meeting its defense requirement also because China has supplied Iran with surface to air missiles and also has trained Iranian nuclear scientists and China being permanent member of security council with veto power could be of great strategic help for Iran when it comes to voting any proposal against Iran in the United Nations this thing already I told you earlier a parallel China dominated global order suits Iran more than US centric world order because US is more biased okay most by toward Israel instead and instead of Iran and China will be more wise toward Iran because of its location also that is the reason in China dominated global order is much more suited than US centric world order now see this much of strategic interest involved in Iran and China definitely Iran will going to invite China also in Java development project and definitely India should not fail bad okay so what India's policy options left so India's policy option that left is this for India to be influential player in this region economics and politics should complement and not substitute each other that means economics and politics should be complement not substitute each other okay, if economics we are playing then politics we cannot play if we are playing politics we cannot play economics even though we need to use both economics and politics together to influence India will have to capitalize upon this existing synergies also the thing is that only thing is okay, whenever we are making agreement with Iran the terms and conditions should be as clear as possible in collaboration with countries like Japan India should offer favorable terms of trade in this reason okay in this in China that means India can take the help of Japan and then India can provide the favorable terms of trade to the Iran that is much better than China then definitely India can outsmart China to consolidate its strategic debt in this region, India should focus on initiatives like frequent joint naval exercise in Persian Gulf. Please check the location of the Persian Gulf. Iran, on the other hand, would do well by maintaining a fine balance between elephant and dragon because then it need not to depend too much over this USA if it is able to make a fine balance between India and China. Some form of Chinese participation in Java project would be helpful for the future of the project, especially if terms and conditions are clearly specified. How it will be helpful? Because China will try, will try as always will try to deploy the project as soon as possible and definitely then India can increase its trade with Afghanistan and Central Asian countries is very sure and then India and China are exploring joint economic projects in Afghanistan they can surely also extend this engagement to the Java that means he, India and China already having one joint economic projects in Afghanistan then what is the issue if they are having same type of project joint in Java also so this was the article so here we are going to end please don't forget to hit like button in our YouTube channel and please subscribe the channel also. Thank you and please don't forget to hit this like button.